My affinity for penguins is getting the better of me, even though I'm not particularly interested in, you know, guitars for flow and all that. I think uh, my love, yeah, for penguins is going to win out. So that's going to be the next designer home I make because now the clout is rising with every new home that I make in Animal Crossing Happy Island Designer. I don't know what the name of the DLC is. My name is Brian Saviano, Rex O'Brien. Basically making a outdoor concert venue is basically what it's sounding like. Maybe a little bit of a stage presence, a nice outdoor thing here. Uh, on the beach kind of makes sense, you know? I don't know what the um, interior is going to be, but I want this to be a place, basically, where people can go and watch a concert from the vibe that I'm getting for Flo, which is entirely, entirely different from the, the very uh, cold climate that penguins exist in, so this should be a little bit interesting. But yeah, another one of the homes shall be designed and decked out here. On today's episode, hopefully you're you're feeling good. I'm feeling okay. I'm definitely tired. I've been tired for a while, you know? Not tired of life, but just tired, you know? I want to sit on a beach and just go on vacation. I don't even like the beach. I actually really dislike the beach, but, you know, that's about uh, the best for a vacation I'm going to get, at least for a little while. So, yeah. This whole area is going to be basically for a concert, so all these things are going to work out uh, very nicely. Oh, look at this pro gaming desk, everybody. Oh, we finally got it. Nice. Nice. Beautiful. All right, so it's going to be an all-outdoor setup here. And yeah, uh, what I need to do f uh, secondly is something involving the floor. I rem oh, we can't place rugs outside. I forgot. That is something we cannot do. We have to have something outside to distinguish this being a stage of some kind, which I think should be wood, right? I can't, it's a beach. It's a beach, dang it. All right, well, that makes sense. Okay, so let's say I go with a bunch of speakers over here. It's gonna be standing room only, all right? Standing room only on this one. The guitarist is always in the back. We're gonna put the drums on the side here because the drums are definitely also in the back. Nope, I guess I'm not. Never mind. Hold on. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to change the colors, which again, I messed up because that's just what I do. Marine blue, that sounds nice. And it's gonna be a super rock and roll, heavy metal sort of a vibe over here. All right, effects rack is gonna go over here. Um, that portable stereo, I guess we'll have over here is like a a prelude to, I don't know, whatever the people are hearing when they first approach the island. I don't really know. All right, this is going to be over here. I want to make another one of these over here because basically you want to make this an interactive sort of a stage. And I guess I kind of messed up by doing this on a beach, but oh well. The decision has already been made, so I just got to roll with it. You know what I mean? So there's all that. And for the exterior, uh, the record box, definitely pe a pedal board. Pedal board has to go... Wow, pedal board? Isn't that for um, the drummer? But, but I guess not because you can't fit it in that area. I don't know. That's kind of weird. But yeah, I'm going to have something back toward here. The cool low table is basically going to be the way that somebody can control what's going on on the stage. And the stage crew, I guess, is going to be back over toward this way. Even though it doesn't really make any sense, they're going to kind of sort of be off the grid. So that way they're not seen by the general public. Even though on most of these situations, you can. You can see where they're, like, running the whole show and everything. And ideally, you want to have a situation where they are being, like, on the on the show. You know, they, they want to see what's going on, actually, you know? And I guess it makes sense having the DJ turntable right here. So somebody can be back over here. The guitarist. Yeah. We're not going to have anything on the outside for seating, like I said before. So yeah, this should be about it over here. Professional headphones. These can be over toward here on the effects rack for sure. All right. And for the exterior, I mean, the, the, the instrument case is actually kind of nice, but it doesn't need to be on this thing. Looks kind of weird, you know? But I guess I'll leave it back over there. It looks like it should be an interactive item, you know? But whatever. All right, so there's all that. I literally can't do anything else on the beach. Maybe a couple of uh, palm trees. Coconut trees, rather. Just to make it look a little bit more eventful. Maybe one over here. 
And one on the side, maybe, here? No? Ooh, I can. Nice. That's awesome. Actually, I'll put this over here. Because I think I have to include this. But you don't want any feedback on the speakers, you know? So maybe over toward this way instead. Yeah. Okay. Do I want to customize the house in any particular way? Yes, I do. I want a black roof on this one, or at least a dark color. Black thatch roof? Yeah. Let's go with that. A he nice heavy metal color to, you know, absorb all the light from the summer sun, you know? And because we're having it on an island, it has to be at night, of course. We're going to do this right at night toward this way here. Yeah, there we go. All right. There must be something I can add outside for a little bit of splash of color somewhere. You know, what What can I add? Anything decent? I don't think we have, like, we have light-up stuff for Christmas, but not for anything else. So the beach chairs with the parasol? Sure. On the downtime? Maybe relaxing a little bit over here? That makes sense. Anything else that I can put for a light-up? Like, like, I want, you know what I want? Those neon palm trees. Those palm trees that I have on my island, those would be really sweet. But we're not getting anything like that here, man. I mean, the Nova Lights? Oh, they're star clocks. No, I have the actual Nova Lights. They're somewhere down here, right? They have to be. Are they really not? I don't know. All right, well, I'll put I'll put two of these clocks, and I'll basically flip them around that way. <laughs> I'll flip them that way so they don't look like clocks. We'll do pink, and we'll also do probably uh, purple. Sure. Those two can be over here. Place these in the background, you know? Actually, we can't because it's on a beach. And there's no actual greenery around here anyways, right? Uh, actually, I can make two more of these. Let's deck these out to be white. And then we'll go with blue for sure. And then green. Yes, there we go. Have them all scattered throughout here, you know? It could be like the Nova Light Show. I don't know, you know? I think it, I think it's fine, right? So scattered all throughout here, you have like the nighttime sky. And yeah, this looks like a place where you, you can't get over here. You can't. <laughs> hold on. Whoops. Hold on. You can't actually get over here. Whoops. Okay, maybe I can remove that one. Yeah, I'm going to remove these two. Sure. All right. So if you were going over here... Standing room only. Watch the concert. You see that beautiful night sky? Look at that. See? That's where this place really comes alive. Right there. Beautiful. How incredible is that, right? I can get another one of these trees over here. We'll get this tree. Get it right over here, right? Yeah, there we go. Nice. Looking slick on the outside here. Beautiful. Now, I'm going to make this a relatively small house because, again, this kind of falls into the line of it being kind of like a concert venue. So, nothing too incredibly special inside of here. Um, all these things I can basically have as extras if I really wanted to. Uh, the guitars, I'm definitely going to change up the colors on them. We'll go with a Cosmo Black for sure. And then a Rock Emblem. Yeah, Rock Logo. That makes sense. All right. So, we're going to have two extra guitars here. Then we're going to have a uh, Chic White looks really nice. And then... A pop logo. Yeah, there we go. All right, so there's those two on deck on standby. And there's also going to be that control room in here, because I want this pro gamer setup. Look at this. The four monitors, the RGB keyboard. Oh, my goodness. This desk is litsky, man. Sheesh. Look at that. My God, how much more pro gamer can you get? Give me that black and blue. Yes. You have a third-person game? Wow, all the different customization options. All right, all right. So we have regular desktop. We have um, No Man's Sky. First-person game. This looks like uh, Fortnite, kind of, I guess. Uh, that's Fable. We have some awful simulator game that is definitely not family-friendly. Rhythm game that is definitely Rock Band there. And then the stock trading and then the digital audio workstation. So definitely going to go with the digital audio. But I can't believe they put a stock market trading pamphlet, like template for this on this. That's kind of incredible. Oh, you can go totally uwu with it too. Wow. That's incredible. I love that one. That I mean, I'm not I'm not listen, I'm not a stock trading guy. I'm not saying, you know what I mean? But that's kind of incredible that they would put that in there. 
I am shocked. Shocked at that one. But anyway, so you know what actually this is going to be? They're going to be over here, and they can actually look out the window. They can run the show from here and look out the window to see how the show is going, right? So that makes sense in there. All right. And then for the walls, actually, what, what do they recommend for walls? We have uh, the cityscape wall, the skull wall. Uh, you know what? I'll go with this, and then the accent wall can be over here. Sure. No, uh, no. Let's not do that. Yeah, I guess that's fine. All right, club flooring? Oh, absolutely, a thousand percent. Are you serious? A skull rug as well? Yeah, baby. Get that heavy metal with the, with the, um, the spokes coming around it there. That's super nice. I like that effect a lot. Oh, gotta have the wall-mounted neon, baby. Let's go. Let's go all throughout here. Yes. Okay. You know what? This is actually going to be going all around the top. Yeah, there we go. Just going to multiply this all the way through. Uh-huh. Yup. And then can I have it be different colors each time? I feel like that might look a little too tacky, but I'm also kind of totally in for it. You know what I mean? So we go like this over toward here on the top. There we go. Do the same situation all through here. Got to make it look as pro gamer as possible, right? Professional gamers only in here and audio engineers. Yes. There we go. All right. So for that wall, we're going to put we're going to put some of these glow in the dark stickers over here. The musical notes totally work very nicely. Put those there. Now for the ceiling, got to do something spicy. These can be hanging over here. Yeah, the simple shaded, I think, works just fine. We'll go with the one over here. Nope. Got to have it be kind of sort of centered, you know? Um, could do one right here, here, and here. Yeah, sure, that's fine. All right. And this will also be kind of like a backstage area for the, uh, the, the musicians, you know? So we'll do something like for the vintage sofa, definitely don't want this awful brown color. We'll go with uh, black. Yeah, something slick, you know? So if they happen to be recording something in here, they can have a little bit of room to observe the progress and whatnot. Maybe enjoy a little bit of the show. Who knows? Uh, the cool low table can be over here as well. So yeah, it's it's kind of like a, a hangout sort of spot as well. Uh, an extra... Ooh, an electric bass? Yeah, why not, right? Toss it into here. Make it a part of the whole ensemble, right? What else can there be? Iced coffee? Yeah, for sure. Gotta have a yucca in here, too. Make it feel nice and homey to some extent, you know? Want to make sure there's a little bit of foliage wherever you're hanging around, all right? So the neon diner clock, yeah, we're totally going to put that right here. So you can always keep track of the time so you know what's going on. All right. And out of everything else here, there's nothing like, I don't know. There's definitely a little bit more that I can add into here to make it a little bit more spicy. Another record box, I should say. Yeah, definitely want to change up the colors on that, though. Oh, for sure. Yeah, totally. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That is definitely nice right there. Beautiful. You're not going to be able to really see it, but, you know, it's there for sure. Get another pair of headphones on there. Ooh, the silver microphone. Yeah, you got to have a backup microphone. We have the amp that's over there, right? Got to have the high-end stereo inside of here as well, right? Okay, this is going to go back over toward this way to, you know, because when you play the new music... The new hotness that's coming out, you got to make sure you have the new hotness on deck. All right. So that's going to go here. The microphone can go over toward this way. No, because you can't access actually the music that way. Right. Okay. I need to have a chair for that. Obviously, for the pro gaming. Pro gamers chair right here. Nice. There we go. That's looking good. All right. Magazine rack for in here. Nah, that doesn't make any sense. Not making much sense here. Some device for the, uh, I mean, the cupboard, maybe? I don't know. Maybe the cool bed? You know, maybe somebody, maybe somebody's working a late night in the studio. They got to take a bed, you know what I mean? Have a nice ruby red sort of bed over here. That could work out. Maybe. Maybe not, actually. There might not be enough clearance. Ah, uh, that's, actually, you know what? What if this went over here? 
Just something, something small, you know? It's not supposed to be the highlight, but, you know, it's there. What if this goes over here instead, back over here? It's supposed to be like a recording studio monitoring area. That sort of a thing. Uh, what else can I do? What else can I do? That makes sense. It's got to make sense, you know what I mean? Uh, definitely going to have the KK Rock. That's going to be on the wall, though. I got to put that over here for sure. I wish I gave you, um, actually, there might be more options for music, right? Because I've had all these different musical tracks, right? Yeah, for sure. Okay, awesome. What else could go here? Got to have some jazz for inspiration and some soul for inspiration as well. All the different albums. Remove those stickers for now, right? Yeah, and got to have a fourth. The fourth will be have the, the rockin' KK. Yeah, there we go. You know, because you got to have that inspiration when you're making making that new hotness, the new, new music, you know? There's that. Um, I, I mean, you can't really put anything else on the walls without it looking kind of odd. So, yeah. I think this place looks really snazzy. Is it movable? Well, that microphone definitely has to move. That is not in the right spot. That has to go there. So, can, obviously, you can't sit in the chair, which is, you know, it is what it is. You can shimmy through here. But again, it's not ideal. I guess it's fine. I Hey man, I think this looks great. Let's see what you think. Do you think this is excellent? You should flow. I would think it looks tremendously good. All done? Let's see what we got. Hold up a sec. Wait, hold on. Oh, you're just saying, oh wait, hold up. You're not actually, wait. Just need a moment for a quick supervisor to designer consultant if you don't mind. Did I miss something? One more amazing vacation home the island sings about, but before we wrap up, got a second. You know how to make the furniture sparkle, right? Well, when I told Wardle that I told you about it, he told me a cool thing to tell you. You can polish and make different effects besides sparkling, too. I totally forgot about sparkling the furniture and whatnot. Um, okay. So I can switch into that mode. Now I can change the effect by pressing the, the, the thing? The, the, uh, the D, the D-pad? Okay. Hold on. So I pressed L. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Oh, press plus. Oh. Oh, this is weird. So we can have different effects for everything? So let's say I have Zapmatic. Yep. Oh, so you can make it like it looks like it has... That's kind of weird. Yeah, let me make my computer look electrified. That's totally the vibe that I want to go for. <laughs> That's a little weird. All right. Let's say I want to make the, the... Yeah, the guitar should look a little bit electrified. Yeah. That's good. That's good there. I don't really like doing this effect. It's kind of... Whatever. I don't know. Burr burr? For the... The coffee? The iced tea? I mean, that makes sense. You know, the effect, that makes it look good if you have a certain, like, definitive theming for a room. Like, if you have, like, a whole, an all, like, a, like, um, a ice room, that makes it look really, really cool and really, really icy. But for this room, it totally doesn't make any sense. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but whatever. All right, I can, I can probably do one more thing here. Uh, Steam Shine. Nah, that's not going to make sense for anything. Yeah, let me have a nice steaming hot sofa. That makes sense. Is there anything I could use for this? Probably not. Space blip? It looks like a leveled up... <laughs> like a leveled up uh, yuka. That's weird. All right, I think, I think it's good. It is finished. I polished it up to look especially nice for you there, Flo. You're a rock star, like a sold-out and inst instantly jam-packed stadium rock star. Turn on like a rock star. Ba -la -la -da -ba -da. Ba I forget. Oh, that's what it is. Post Malone. I'm it, I'm it, I'm it, da -ba -da -ba. and I'm feeling like a rock star. That is not a family-friendly song to sing the uncensored version, so I'm going to stop. But anyways, look at that pro gamer moves, right? I can't get over that. I love... I wish I had that. I do I do have three monitors. I got one, two, three. But I don't have the stock trading setup. The one, two, three, four. That's 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 pro gamers right there. That's not me. I wish I was that pro of a gamer. Not even close. 
I need like a guidebook to figure out how to be a pro gamer. Maybe I'll figure it out eventually. Uh, did the game crash? What happened here? Is it good? There we go. All right. Thanks for everything. Vacation life's going to be sweet. I'm going to be taking off soon, actually. I have plenty more billion dollar complexes to run, as a matter of fact. And uh, hopefully Lottie sees just how much effort I put into that one and rewards me accordingly. What you got the fat stacks of uh, pokey for me? You got 12,000? I'll take it. Thank you so much. La -dee -da -dee -do. Uh, I guess I'm finished working for now. Yeah, I might do one more. We'll see. But yeah, not not right this second. I, You know what? I'm going to see what the other people out there want. I'm running into a little bit of a wall because these other ones are not super duper interesting. But we'll see how they are. Who's new out here? A little puppy? Dalmatian? All right. We'll see what happens in the next episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. It's getting pretty late in the world of Animal Crossing. Surprise anyone's still awake. But uh, for now... Have a great day and keep on meowing it out. Talk to you in the next one or two. Oh, it's a barbecue. Bye.